Hello, I'm uh, Dominic from the Recap team and I will teach you about this new uh, Recap Photo Beta. Recap Photo is our new drone uh, UAV solution under the Recap brand. Uh, this is a software you would use to process your photos, uh, your UAV photos and turn them into uh, meaningful 2D and 3D data. Uh, it's a cloud connected desktop app, so you need to have an H360 account to run it. Uh, you see on the bottom of my dashboard here, all, all these projects are now on my A360 account and I can view them from here. Uh, let me show you uh, the quick workflow to process your aerial photos. So you click here on aerial, uh, you select the photos that are on your disk, uh, they're coming from your UAV or drone. Uh, they are all geolocated uh, with uh, GPS tags. Uh, really simply, the next step is to go here to create. Uh, give a project name, uh, then say, okay, which reality data types do you want to point point cloud uh, will be also an orthographic view. Uh, here you can set the resolution of the auto view. Uh, for example, here set it to uh, three, uh, each pixel to be three centimeters. You also need to select the output of projected coordinate system. I know this project was done in California, so look for a state plane uh, coordinate system in meter, whatever, and then I say start. So what happens now is that the photos are being uploaded to your A360 account, ready for processing. So uh, good news is that you can pause uh, the upload, the upload at any time, on resume it later. Even if you quit the app, it will be resumed automatically after uh, when you come back uh, using recap photo. After the upload has been uh, uh, completed and uh, the project has started to be processed, uh, you receive an email when the, 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 the project is ready, uh, when the processing is done, and then you will go to A360 to look for the data. So the URL you get in your email will take you to this uh, project dashboard on A360. You can do a lot of stuff from here. Uh, first, you can download the data that you requested. So uh, back on your computer, uh, you have the full quality uh, models back to your computer this way. You can share uh, with the results with your team members. Uh, you can even publish to a gallery or you can also preview the model. So first preview could be a 3D, day, 3D preview. Uh, this is a, a preview of the 3D uh, photo texture mesh. Uh, it's, uh, it's a low polygon count uh, preview, but still very high quality. If you need to see the full dense mesh, you would need to download the RCM and use Recap Photo to open it. Uh, this is one way of interacting with the, with the data. You can also browse through the photos and be in the photo in the camera perspective. Uh, you can also view the orthographic view. You open here the 2D map. And that, that is uh, um, the orthographic view of the site that was computed. And this is a two and a half D data. So it's geolocated. And you can uh, enrich this orthographic view with some uh, metadata being distances uh, markups or notes. Uh, you can measure any distance and these are true 3D distance measurements uh, taking into account the elevation map that's behind this uh, this uh, this photo. Uh, you can also add tags or annotations or markups. Uh, for example, you can zoom in here, say I want to add a tag here and you can enrich this tag with text uh, with uh, some instructions for your team members. You can add the other images or URLs. Uh, on this, uh, those metadata are being added to your project. Uh, so that when you share this project, uh, all the team members will see uh, those, uh, those metadata. We also have another cool feature, which is, uh, we call it the precision sort. Uh, on this is to get even more detail on your uh, on your uh, auto view here. Let's say uh, you want to click this area because you don't know exactly what that is, and you just say, "I give me the best viewpoints that is that are looking at this at this area," and you click on one of those photos, and then we'll uh, pull out the the source image, one of the source images looking at this area. So you can zoom in and have uh, the original uh, pixel information from the source photo. 
to look at the details. And then uh, again, you can add tags or, or markups here. So I can add a note here saying, okay, this to be clean. And again, this will be some additional metadata that will be uh, added uh, to your project. And you can see that from your list of your metadata. You can see the note here. Now, uh, coming back to Recap Photo Desktop, uh, you can also uh, download the, the RCM file from here. You just click on this small arrow and that will start the download. Once the project, uh, when the RCM file has been downloaded, it will appear here on my computer. So uh, with Recap Photo and uh, the Photo to 3D service in the cloud, we produce three types of reality data. The first one being a, a photo texture mesh. Uh, we had a preview of it on the, on the web browser, but this is a full resolution, the dense mesh uh, with texture maps. Uh, and this is uh, something that you want to use. You may want to use for uh, communication, uh, for everything uh, VR related or web related. Uh, there will be a, a separate video on how to use uh, this data using a, a recap photo editing on healing tools. The other reality data type uh, that we get from Recap Photo and the uh, Photo to 3D service is uh, this photo based point cloud, which is also geolocated. Here I'm using uh, Recap Pro to view the result, to view this point cloud. This is an RCS file, and you can use Recap Pro to merge this uh, uh, UAV based point cloud with a uh, laser scan based point cloud as well. And finally, the, the last uh, reality data type that we get from Recap Photo is this uh, uh, high resolution orthographic view, which comes with its elevation map. Uh, so this is the data type that you will use in the GIS software uh, that you can overlay with 2D drawings as well, for example.